Hi, this is Doc Monten and I welcome you to my channel. In our video today, I'm going to walk you through a couple of steps that you have to, to take for you to be able to handle any question on atomic physics that has to do with half-life or very radioactive substance. So if you are a physics student and you're going to write an exam this year, you need to see this video because this is meant for you. Without any further ado, let's jump into things. Okay, so now let's look at what half-life is. So half-life is actually the time taken for a given amount of a radioactive substance to decay to half its original mass. If let's say we have a substance with uh, 30 grams, okay, with that, with 30 grams, as its initial 30 grams okay so we have 30 grams of a radioactive substance now if a half of these 30 grams which is 15 grams 15 grams takes uh, about five days to decay then those five days are, are actually the half life of this radioactive substance okay so that's what they're saying in the first sentence so it's simply the time that it takes a half of the mass or count rate of a radioactive substance to decay so now we have so many definitions that we can give as we are defining half-life. The second one may be this one, which is which is here, which says half-life of a radioactive substance is the time taken for a given amount of radioactive substance to decay to half its original number. Then you can as well give this one. It is the time taken for the count right to fall to half its original value. Now you need to take note of one thing. So now the word not a ben means take note of something, meaning it's pretty important. A half-life of a radioactive substance is constant. So now rising from the example that I'd given saying, if, if, if 30 kg or 30 grams of radioactive substance, a half of it decays within five days, then that five days will be constant. It won't be changing. That 15 grams that will remain, half of it will actually decay within the next five days again so that's that's the meaning that's the implication of uh this sentence you're saying half-life of a radioactive substance is constant if it's five days it will actually be maintained it will be five days five days five days if it's five hours be dealing with five hours if it's in minutes minutes if it's in seconds to be in seconds so that's the thing Let's jump. Let's, let, let's just look at uh, a few examples of elements and uh, the, their half lives. Now we have polonium here, which has a half life of 1.5 times 10 to the power negative 4 seconds. I think this is the period that it takes half of the original mass of polonium to actually decay to half of it. Then we have Practinium, which actually decays in, in 1.4 minutes. Then carbon-14, half of it decays within 6,000 years. And then we have uranium, which actually decays in 4.5 times 10 to the power 9 years. So now what you need to know, what you need to know or learn from this table is that each and every radioactive substance has its own half-life. It's not like all radioactive substances have the same half lives. They have different half lives. Okay, so now let's let's take let's take a look. Let's say, let's take a look at this example and see how you can calculate any problem that has to do with calculation of half life on an exam. So now they're saying the half life of radium is one thousand six hundred years. 
if there is 40 grams of radium initially, calculate the mass, the mass of radium that will be available after 4,800 years. So now for you to answer such a question as this one, first of all, you have to draw the table that I've drawn here at the bottom. And then you have to have a row of time and a row of undecayed mass of that particular radioactive substance. So now when you're beginning to count time, begin to count from zero. So here we're going to indicate that at a time when we haven't yet started counting, that is at zero years, zero years. What is the mass of this particular substance? So the original mass is actually 40 grams. And that's what I'm going to indicate here. That's 40 grams. So now the half-life of this particular substance is 1,600. So now from zero, we'll move on to 1,600 years. So now after 1,600 years, what will happen is a half of the original mass will actually decay down. So half of 40 here is actually a 20. So after 1,600, we are going to have 20 grams. Then another, after a passage of 1,600 years again, so we're going to add on because time is actually increasing. It's moving forward. So from 1,600, we're going to add 1,600 again. So we're going to have 3,200. 3,200. Okay, so now after 3,200 years, half of this mass that we have here will actually decay. So what's half of 20? That's actually a 10. So we are going to have 10 grams here. Okay, so now after this one, we are going to add another 1,600 so that we, we hit 4,800 years. So now 3,200 plus 1,600 will give you 4,800. So now what will be the mass of radium after 4,800? So we're going to have, you're going to find half of this 10, 10 grams here. Yeah? So the answer will actually be five grams. So now we can go back to the question and check, what is it that they really wanted us to find? They wanted us to find the, the amount of radium that will remain after 4,800. So we come here and check on the years, and then we see that 4,800 is here. So how much of radium has remained? That's five grams so we come here you can say okay so now five grams of radium will remain after a period of 4800 so let's look at the second example and see how you can answer it okay so example two there is one kg strontium that has the half-life of 30 years. And how many grams of strontium remained after 60 years? So the first thing first is to draw the table, just like I have here. After you've done that, begin to, ta to, to, to count time from zero. So we say year zero. At zeroth year, what is the the mass of strontium. So we have one kg. Now this one kg, if you check out here, the first question is asking you to find how many grams of strontium remained after 60 years. So now we need to change these kgs into grams. So now you don't need to ache your brains because everything is on our fingertips. What it is is like this, 1000 grams actually give us one kg. 
Okay, so now here what we have is 1 kg. So now in grams, what will be the mass of strontium? So that is uh, 1,000 grams. So at a time when time is 0, we have 1,000 grams of strontium. So from here now, you can say, okay, so after a period of 30 days, after a period of 30, 30 years rather, or 30 days, after a period of 30 years, how much of the mass of strontium will remain? So a half of this 1,000 is what will remain, because this is the half-life. So what's a half of 1,000? That's actually 500. 500 grams. Okay, so now again, we need to add another period of 30 years. So 30 plus 30, that will actually give us 60. So we're going to have 60 years. Okay, we have 60 years there. So now, what will be the mass of strontium that will remain here? So 500, half of 500 is actually 250. So after a period of 60 years, we are going to have 60, 250 grams of strontium. So now we can go back to the question now and check what would they ask us to find. How many grams of strontium remained after 60 years? So here, we can say 250 grams had remained. Because everything is crystal clear. That's 250 grams. Let's move on to the last one. They're saying if 125 grams of strontium remained, how long does it take? So now this time around, they're asking us to find the time or the period within which strontium actually decayed down to 125 grams. We can check through, but we can't find anywhere where 125 grams of strontium is. So we can further do the calculations like those we have done so far. So here, you can say uh, plus another 30 years, what will be the remaining mass of, 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 of strontium? So now 60 plus another 30, that will actually give us, it won't give us this, but uh, something else. Let's take a look at this. So now it will give us 60 plus 30, that's actually 90 years. So we say after 90 years, what will be the mass? of strontium that will remain. So we find two, half of 250. Half of 250 is actually 125 grams. Okay, fine now. After we found this one, and actually this one matches with this which is here, we can now answer the last question. If 125 grams of strontium remained, how long did it take? So we simply check through the period of time here. So we can say it took 90 years. Well, friends, that's how we answer questions that have to do with our life. Just the way we've solved them, that's how they're solved even on an exam. If you've liked the video, Remember to smash the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that anytime I happen to post a video, you are lighted. Thank you so much. Stay